there. Welcome to Taco Pops, my friends. I'm Taco, AKA the prosperous nipple, AKA the excellent nipple. And I'm Crotchman, AKA Crotch Daddy, AKA the bloated udder. Oh! Oh! Holy crap, that was a good jack. Anyways, baby, we've got a very special episode for you guys today. Crotchman is not behind the camera today, Jack and his supple tits. He's actually front center giving you guys a first row view of these delicate teats, baby. And today we're gonna to be looking at a legendary show, my friends. A show that Crotchman and I actually grew up on, gave us countless laughs, baby. And the show that I speak of, can you jack him for the announcement? Yeah, shall do. It's Seinfeld, baby. We're looking at Seinfeld today. Crotchman, are you keen? I'm so keen. <laughs> Is your crack oil? It's oil. Is your tits milky? Oh, they're milky. They're milky, baby. So what we're going to do today, my friends, we're going to have a crack, have a dig, have a rip at some of these tantalizing units for our tits, baby. We've got some banging Seinfeld poppies here for you. So without further ado, rub your nips and let's go out to the nearest pasture, find the fattest, most bloated cow in the market, situate ourselves under his bloated teats and Jack them, baby. Jack them into our palates to quench the dehydration. How does that sound, Crotch Daddy? Sounds perfect, baby. Let's move. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude, it was so weird. I was at the checkout. He just grabbed my nipples and started twisting them. I was like, mate, who are you? Oh, well. Oh. oh, stop jacking the sack, mate. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, baby, Crotchman and I have a very good episode for you today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be raw. And damn it, it's going to be rowdy because Crotchman's ass is waxed and it's oiled. His pits are shaved and his breasts are producing copious amounts of that juicy, succulent milk, baby. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I really like that. Anyways, guys, let's get right into this one because Seinfeld is a show that we always have enough time for, baby. Makes me want to crap my pants right now. How's your afro balls? Oh, they're good. They're good. <laughs> they're good, guys. All right, enough dealing that. Let's get into this. The first poppy we're taking a look at today. Are you shot, Crossman. We're talking about Jerry from episode one of Seinfeld, my friends. Look at that retro attire. Look at that mullet. Sweet mother of Abraham tits crossed with Yeti. Crotchman, would you oil that up and put it in your cleavage? I want this in my cleavage and I want this in my crack. <laughs> Really badly. God, you must have whacked that crack real good today, eh? I did. Yeah, guys, Retro Jerry episode one. So we had to start it with this, guys. Episode one, they did not know what this show was going to turn into, my friends. This was the most successful show. It's literally a show about nothing, but damn it, it's so entertaining. And, um, yeah. So oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, <laughs> back in, baby. Like I said, guys, very, very awesome show. If you haven't checked it out already, hopefully by the end of this episode, you'll be tickled for these characters, baby. So yeah, first one, Jerry, episode one, baby. My God, Crotchman, yeah. makes me want to pump my gooch up right now, <laughs> sir. Second one, guys, we're sticking with the Jerry trend, that mullet bandit. And we're looking at Jerry with the Pez dispenser, baby. Classic Ebby from the sack. Yes! Now guys, this is one of our actual favourite episodes where Jerry's making Elaine laugh while uh, George's little lady is doing her music performance. Bloody good episode there guys. And of course, the fact that he's holding a Pez dispenser for us collectors, very significant, very tantalising, very raw for your supple nips, aka your sausage slammers, <laughs> aka the glass cutters. So yeah guys, second poppy of the day, we're looking at Jerry with Pez dispenser, baby. Classic epi for my tits, classy episode for uh, Crotchman's uh, shave crack there, baby. Yeah. Yes, sir. Going into round three, my friends. Yeah! Jesus Christ! After! Oh, <laughs> Do oh, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry, please. I'm so please, sorry. <laughs> We've got one more pop and then we'll, we'll hit the smoke. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Anyways, right, let's go. back in, baby. Third poppy, my friends, we're looking at today. Crotchman's favourite character. And my ugh, my favourite was Kramer, but George is creeping up real slowly there, baby, because look at this bald contender right here. Crotchman, what do you think of Costanza? This pop! I like it! <laughs> Another! Oh! 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 <laughs> As you see, it's a very good pop, guys. So let's have a crack at this. 
because uh, with a reaction like that, I'm pretty sure if I didn't open this up, Crotchman's sack would explode, baby. So let's crack this right now, guys. <laughs> Holy crap, man. But yeah, guys, we love George. He's such a funny character. And what makes him funny is the fact that he's so pathetic, guys. Just his reaction to certain situations, and he always takes the easy route, baby. And the thing that Crotchman and I love about George the most, <laughs> bald spot, baby. That's sexy, that's sexy. He's uh, even kept uh, his remaining hairs like Yoda and slicked them back there, guys. So George Costanza is a hefty beast. Crotchman, hold George for us right now. Mm. <laughs> yes. Guys, we have uh, quite a bit of poppies to get through here, so we're going to quickly switch over to a quick break, have a crack, have a dig, come back in, we'll slap the rest of them. So let's move. I am Randy. And I'm not talking Orton. Baby, Rambo Craxon and Django Breath back at it again. That looks really pleasurable. Oh, it's so pleasurable. Wow, that's nice. Can we do some more? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's oh. good. Good content. Oh. Good. Oh. Very good content, guys. Anyways, back in, baby. And the next poppy we're looking at today is the postal bandit himself, Sean Crotchman. Newman. Infamous Newman, baby. Yes, sir, re AKA the Lard Daddy. And Crotchman and I had many laughs from Newman back in the day, baby. That infamous line, Jerry. Newman. Newman. We loved it, baby. Crotchman and I will be sitting on the lounge room floor having a laugh, walking around the stores, repeating those lines to each other, baby. We love Newman. And uh, this pop, actually, let's get him out and give, uh, give your eyeballs a bit of a, a, bit of a teaser, because all you seem to have seen in this episode is Crotchman jacking his tits <laughs> so far, baby. So let's give you some pop action right now. Is that, <laughs> that looked really nice. Keep yeah. going, keep going. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Look at that, guys. Newman with Crotchman in the back jacket. You jacking? I'm jacking. He's jacking, baby. Look at that, guys, in his postal service outfit there. Of course, traditional Newman with the glasses, the infamous slick. And I love how desperate Newman is when uh, the soup Nazi goes out of business and the man's running home. I've never seen Newman run that fast, baby, to get a pot. <laughs> he needed a pot to get the remaining soup. So, yeah, Newman, baby, enticing character for McCrack. Crotchman, what are your thoughts? Oh, so erotic. I'm getting so seduced. Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this now. All right, guys. Next poppy in the paint today. We're looking at the notorious catch Crotchman. Ooh. Kramer, baby. And I'm talking Kramer nude. Explicit Kramer. Triple X Kramer. Stripper Kramer. Kramer in the night, baby. Yes, sir, guys. And for anyone that knows Kramer, you know this guy, every episode, he's up to something ridiculous, something stupid. Always up to those get-rich-quick get schemes like Crotchman and I, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we love Kramer, guys. And uh, especially when he's naked. You know this show's a bit explicit. So when a poppy comes out like this, very naughty, very tantalizing for the tits, we're going to crack him, baby. Let's crack him, Crotch Daddy. Let's crack him. Crack him. Crack him like your waxed crack. Oh, so waxed. Yes, sir. But before you may hold this honourable thing, jacket. Jacket. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, take it, take oh, it, take it. You, God damn you, it, take you. it, take it. <laughs> yeah, guys, Kramer. <laughs> show, show them the Kramer. Sorry. <laughs> You'll show your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Like I said, baby, this is a raw episode. Me and my cousin Crotch Daddy, a.k.a. Sackman, baby. Okay. Yeah, guys, and this Kramer is actually one of our favourite from the Seinfeld line. Like I said, we love Kramer. Love this crazy hair, dude, and I love the nudity, baby. So we're going to pop him right there next to Buddy uh, Newman. Back in! Next poppy, my friends, a.k.a. Jerry with the puffy pirate shirt, my friends. And for all of you that have seen this episode, you know it didn't go too well for the man. He was peer pressured to wearing this supple, tantalising outfit. Backfired on him, but damn it, made a funny episode there, guys. Crotchman, crack the unit out, oil him up and put him in your cleavage right now, sir! I want to put this in my cleavage, and I want to also put it in my... Crack. <laughs> Just open it! <laughs> <laughs> Crotchman's on the beverage today, guys, so he's uh he's a bit rowdy in the paint, you know? Oh, rowdy, rowdy. Yes, sir. Mum and Auntie Ruth, if you're watching this, we're sorry. I'm so sorry. We're sorry. I'm so sorry. We've got to apologise to our mothers, guys. Uh, this is not what mothers want to see on their ooh, puffy shirts, Jerry. So puffy. Look at that, guys. Infamous shirt, infamous combed mullet, guys. I have to say, this hairdo back in the day was a fresh oh, piece of meat, baby. Fresh yeah. piece of meat. So notorious. Crotchman and I, our uncles, they all had this cut, baby. Our uncles had the cut. <laughs> they didn't have that, but they had the cut, baby. They had the cut. One more look at puffy shirt, Jerry. Crotchman, wax your crack and slap your sack, baby. Give me that. <laughs> wax it! Wax it! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow! All 
Alright guys, one more, we're going to switch over to another break and I'm talking none other than Catch Crossman, the Soup Nazi Baby, aka Yevka Sen. My God! What a character, guys. This is one of the most recognisable characters in the Seinfeld game, period, baby. This guy, the Soup Nazi, absolutely obliterated this role, guys. He played it so good. It was actually one of the one of our most favourite top ten episodes for us, Crotch Daddy. 100%. Jack him. Jacking. Jacking. <laughs> He's jacking. Jacking. Jacking, baby. Yeah, one of our favourite episodes, guys. And if you have a look at this moustache, that holds immense power there, guys. Immense power. But for all of you that have seen the episode, you know that Elaine foils this man to the cool, baby. Foils him. Backstabs him, baby, like Dagger with Loki. He's good. Anyways, guys, that's the final pop before we switch over to another break. So we're going to crack our tits, jack them hard, wax our sack, slap the gut, a.k.a. the keg, and we'll be right back, baby. my friends and before we proceed to the next poppies we must re-energize baby yes 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 oh. crossman do the deed ah oh, yes guys to do a good pop review you must be energized and you must be liquid <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> do more! Do more! We arrange. Okay. We arrange. Okay. Okay. Do more. Just a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, back in! And the next pop we're looking at today is none other than classic stand up Jerry, baby. Have a gaze at this unit. How are you feeling, babe? Oh, <laughs> I'm feeling tipsy, baby. He's tipsy, guys. He's tipsy. But yeah, guys, you can't look past classic Jerry. Every episode starts off with this man cracking the, the uh, stand up comedy. Bloody hell, he is funny. One of the funniest stand-ups that Jerry actually did was in the uh, earlier episodes where he's talking about uh, being out and talking about how the uh, clothing in the washing machines is like a party for them, it's like a club, baby, and they make an escape and so forth. Anyways, back on, baby! Jack it! Yes, <laughs> what content, sir? <laughs> so yeah, guys, this next part of the episode, we're kicking it off with stand-up Jerry. Classic, classic mullet. <laughs> classic, have another swig so you feel better. Oh baby, we'll uh, wait for Crotchman to have a quick swig guys, crack it Crotch, crack it Crotch, finish it up, finish it up, block your nose and finish it, <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh. anyways, back in baby, it off. next one we're looking at is Elaine with the sombrero, the infamous dancer herself baby, infamous, we love Elaine guys, she adds such a spice to the show, the show would not be the same without Elaine, amazing actress, Amazing character in the in the show and just all around great vibes guys. We love Elaine. We love her. We love her dancing and we love the infamous uh, Christmas card with the nip. Yes, sir. So our second poppy, baby. Elaine with the sombrero. Crotchman, how do you feel about this? Is your crack oiled? It's oiled. Oh my god! Do you have diarrhea? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. It's got diarrhea again, guys. Great stuff. Anyway, kicking on with the Elaine trend. What the? We got Elaine. Stock standard Elaine with the mug there, baby. Look at those glasses. Look at that mug. Classic retro dress there, baby. We're digging the retro, isn't it, Crotch Daddy? I'm digging Catch, it. Catch, baby. Oh, damn. Come on, baby. Yeah, guys, this is a stock standard Elaine. Not too much spice on the uh, on the tit here, but damn it, it's a great pop, guys. Crotchman, crack out the unit. Crack out the unit. Crack it. Oh. Crack it now. Oh. <laughs> What an 
intense unboxing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice one, baby. Elaine. Stock standard Elaine. Loving the hairdos back then, guys. Love the retro hairdos. Look at that. Immac <laughs> immaculate. It's like a bloody workout, baby. All right, guys. Next one up. Elaine. Classical. One more till we switch over to a... Actually, two more, guys. Elaine, uh, I think she's got a stand. She does. I'm too lazy, baby. And I'm too fat. Ah! Back in, Crosman, Holistic George. Oh my God. The bald bandit. This, mate, this pot makes me feel so hot. I am so hot right now, I want to take my clothes off. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you actually only have three drinks this morning? I lied. Oh, I knew it. I bloody knew it. You're cranking, sir. I'm cranking. You're cranking, anyways. Since Croxman didn't do it, Holistic George, baby, all this man seems to want to do is crank his nips on the show, so I'll, I'll take control here for a second. Holistic George, baby, we're going to crack this one out because this is actually quite a detailed poppy. Detail from a sack and detail for Croxman's pin. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Holistic George, the purple bandit. Yeah. Give him a crack, Croxman. But uh, it's a bit jagged, so don't put that one up your crack. Oh, can't I? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh! Show it! Show it, man! Yes, guys, look at that. Holistic George, baby, classic episode. And this is actually one of the more spicier of the Seinfeld poppies. As you guys see, you, you can't really add too much spice to this bad boys, which we've, we've realised. We weren't too impressed at the start, but then you're like, these are just normal people in the show, baby. So we uh, we do love these poppies, don't we, Crosby? Oh, we love them. We love them now, baby. But yeah, guys, Holistic George. Like, like I said, a bit of spice added to that one. I probably chose the wrong pop to compare that to because this is a very naked boy. <laughs> but yeah, guys, a bit of spice added to that. George, a bit of spice, uh, spicy cream uh, dabbled on the nipples and a bit of a waxing going on too. So that's a damn fresh pop. George is an excellent character. Like I said, he's our favourite baby and we just have a plenty of time for George. Crotchman, show them the piece. Oh, the Kramer. The Kramer, guys. No words needed. No words needed. You might as well just... <laughs> Might as well just get that G-string and rip it right up your ass right now, baby, because this is a shocker. <laughs> That's a chief shocker right there, guys. The Kramer. Infamous. Infamous. And I love this episode, guys, where Kramer is having dinner with the two uh, elderly couple that bought this painting, and he's telling him the life story, and they're so intrigued by him, baby. But it's just funny, because we know Kramer. We know what he's about. We know what he's putting down. And we know uh, what kind of spice he's uh, placing on the nipples there, guys. So, the Kramer. Crotchman, give him a rub. Oh. Rub him on... Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, this pot's making me feel so hot right now, man. Like, <laughs> I'm really, I feel really hot. Like, um, no more hot in here! No more hot in here! God! I am getting so hot! My phone is off! Take them off! Take them off if you want! My god, man! God! Like I said, guys, Coachman lied to me this morning. He said he had three beers, but it's pretty damn obvious that he's had a lot more, guys. So, <laughs> anyways, baby, what we're gonna do right now, guys, we're gonna switch to one more quick skitty. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put together the Seinfeld mini moments because we finally completed the common set. And we're gonna have a bit of a dig at that one, guys. So, uh, let's move. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I forgot about the water, but we'll do that next, sorry. Oh, next, oh. Yeah. Baby. And as you guys saw from that time lapse, we've uh, just put together this little uh, Jerry's apartment, baby. It is fresh. It is damn crispy, guys. Have a look at the detail in this beast. I have to make this quick, guys, because Crotchman's arms are quivering. They're quivering and not of pleasure. Yes. But have a look here, guys. You've basically got a slot in the furniture for a couple of the cheeky contenders here. So we've put this couch here and they just slot just in there like that, guys. And at the start, we were a bit hesitant about this uh, mini moment because we thought these looked a bit flimsy, but there's actually quite a bit of weight to these little characters here, guys. So that makes it extra cool. But yeah, baby, this is a tantalizing slapper right here. The only chase we've got so far is George Costanza, but we're hoping to get the uh, complete chase set too so we can have both dioramas, baby. But yeah, guys, if you're interested in Seinfeld, highly recommend this. Crotchman, you can slide it down now. I see the quiver in your oh, arms, baby. Excellent. I see your pit sweat. I see the droplets of uh, poo. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, we had so much fun making this episode today. Apologies, I'm Crotchman just jacking his tits the whole episode, baby. He likes it. I like he, it. He really likes it. So we just tried to have some fun today, guys. Kick it raw, kick it rowdy. Once again, Crotchman and I are just two dudes in Australia trying to crack it raw, have a good time, guys. Make people smile out there because this is not supposed to be serious, isn't it, Crotchman? No, nah, definitely not. Just a fun time, guys. Why do you collect? You collect to smile, have a laugh, and just enjoy your life, baby. So, guys, don't take collecting too seriously. Take a page from Crotchman and I's uh, saturated book of milk. That <laughs> Just crack it raw and have a good time, guys. And uh, wherever you're cracking in the world right now, my friend, stay safe. Crotchman, what do you got to say to them? Stay naughty. Always naughty, guys. If you're going to drink, drink responsibly. If you're going to crack your G-string up your ass, do it daily. <laughs> Do a daily, baby. And that's us for today, guys. The bloated udder, aka Django breasts. And of course, the prosperous nipple, aka the excellent nipple. Checking out for the day, guys. Should we smoke it like Sig? We shall. Oh, baby! Oh, that was so good, oh, man. Come yes. on. Yes. Yeah. Yes! You cranked your tits so hard in that one. <laughs> they were so raw. Dude, I rub them so nice. Hold on, let me just clean your, your shit. Yeah. God damn, oh, that, that was, was good. So funny, that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> hey, Sus!